Shall we begin? Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So you're considering uh, keeping fish? Are you considering expanding in the hobby, getting bigger tanks, getting more fish? Well, here's some tips for you, five hard lessons that I've learned, and one bonus tip at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Well, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to uh, hit that sub button and hit that bell. If you are like me and like to always be getting tips and learning about how to take better care of your fish, that way you'll get notifications when I post new content. So here's some tips for those of you who are considering either getting into this hobby or, uh, or expanding, getting into more of it. And the first tip, for those of you who know me can predict this tip, is um, know before you go. And by that, what I mean is do research. Nothing is more um, dissuading, nothing is more, um, nothing takes the fun out of it more than, than experiencing a fish loss, a tank that becomes polluted or uh, goes south on you and uh, things just get out of control and you have a big setback. We've all had setbacks in the hobby. That's unfortunately not that uncommon but if you can minimize them by gathering information before you make your next move in the hobby whether it's getting into salt adding a sump getting into a larger aquarium moving into a different species of fish whatever that might be i recommend you do a lot of research and know before you go that's a uh, very heartfelt tip a tip that i've learned the hard way because like many fish keepers i jumped in made the mistakes and then went back and said, okay, what did I learn from that? And some of those mis mistakes were um, a bit emotionally draining, but also, um, but also costly. And uh, there are some fish keepers that uh, were friends of mine from way back, they're no longer in the hobby. They were just taken out by a big setback. They said, that's it, I quit. So avoid that, avoid that grief, avoid the hard knocks. Uh, we're all still gonna have some bumps in the road, that's normal and uh, that comes with the territory. You are gonna have some, some fish loss, you are gonna have some setbacks, but uh, if you can enlighten yourself by you know, watching content on the internet, uh, reading, uh, participating in blogs or fish keeping groups, those things will give you an edge and that's my number one tip. Number two is um, once you know what you should be doing, uh, do it. And I know a lot of you who watch my videos, you're very dedicated to the care of your fish. But you know, we all have times where mm, I'm gonna skip that this time, I don't feel up to it. And you have to have this, uh, this ability to sort of push through, uh, you know, the, uh, the desire to, to, to not do the work and uh, take a day off and uh, be a little lazy. And uh, you know, you have to get the discipline to really get the work done. So, um, you know, if you have a schedule that works, stick to the schedule, stay on the schedule and force yourself to, to do it even at times where you would, you know, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're hungover, you're whatever the case might be, push yourself and uh, you'll find that uh, after you're done with it, uh, you feel a lot better. It's easy to go slack on this hobby and then have something, some parameter, ammonia, uh, you know, something spikes in the tank and you have a big loss. So if you're on a schedule and you're testing your water and you know something needs to be done, push yourself through and do it. Uh, I sound like a, like a, you know, like a coach, <laughs> a baseball or football coach. <laughs> um, number three, realize that, that, that this hobby is gonna, is gonna cost you. And you can participate at different levels in this hobby. You can participate at uh, very inexpensive, uh, you know, budget levels, and you can also get in, you know, for many thousands of dollars, depending what you want to do. But just on basics, and I made a little bit of a list here. You know, I love lists, right? You have food. Quality food is going to cost you money. Uh, there are a lot of cheap foods out there. Uh, full of fillers, preservatives, colors, things of this nature. If you want quality food, you're going to pay a little bit extra. Uh, the fish themselves, they, they're going to cost you money. If you're buying uh, more exotic, more desirable fish that are only available through, uh, through vendors that are far away, you're going to have to pay for shipping and things of that nature. Uh, the cost of filters, uh, filter media, lights, 
uh, stands, canopies, uh, water conditioners, medications for when your fish gets sick. So there's a whole variety of things that are involved in it. I'm not trying to discourage you, but I want to just give you the heads up that there is going to be cost. If you're already operating on a shoestring budget and it's hard for you some, some months to make ends meet, uh, you know, I mean, really give it some thought. What kind of tank do you want to get into? Maybe you better stick with a nano tank for now and, and uh, not go too overboard. Granted, keeping fish does provide a lot of relief. And, uh, you know, for some people it's a form of therapy. You know, it's, they find it very relaxing and it has benefits that go beyond um, the cost. And uh, for me, even doing the work on the tanks, I find that to be very, very relaxing and uh, very beneficial for me. Um, so at any rate, things to consider, you know, consider those costs. Uh, my, my, uh, so that's the third tip, really consider budget. So you have, um, you know, know before you go, uh, do the work, and keep in mind that it's gonna, there's gonna be some cost involved. And the fourth one is always be learning. Always have a willingness to get new information. Uh, realize no matter how expert you, you, you feel you, you are, there's still more to learn. And uh, you know, the person that, that, that I trust the least is the one that, that thinks they know everything about it because they stopped learning the second they reached that point. So I'm interested in interacting with people who are always wanting to learn. You know, a motto of this channel, right? Always be learning. So always be um, thirsty for information and for knowledge. There are a lot of YouTubers out there that provide good information. Um, there's uh, groups you can participate. I have the Ben O. Cichlid uh, group where you can go to on Facebook and ask questions. A lot of good, helpful, knowledgeable fish keepers there. Uh, there are lots of organizations out there, local groups, local fish keeping groups and clubs, things like that. Always be gathering information, you know, make, make friends in the hobby, pick their brains. And uh, a lot of fish keepers are very willing to help, uh, help people develop in the hobby, uh, just like they had to develop. So, um, you know, you don't forget your roots. You know, we all came from, from a background of asking the stupid question, right? The so-called stupid question. We all had those questions at one point. So uh, always be learning. And if you've advanced in the hobby, always be willing to help other people. And uh, number five, and this one is very, very vital. And I've talked about it in other videos. Uh, always make time to enjoy your aquarium. And, um, you know, I love sitting in front of these tanks and watching these fish, learning about uh, their behavior, learning about, you know, in the case of cichlids, the hierarchy of the tank. Who's the boss this week? Uh, who is trying to be the boss? Who's making a move? Who's being harassed? Who's not being harassed? Uh, you know, that, you know, just really spend the time to enjoy the fish, to watch them and, and, and see how they interact. It's just fascinating. And sometimes uh, with our busy schedules, we barely have enough time to work on the tanks. And if it's all about work, at uh, some point you're gonna start thinking about, I don't know, maybe I should give up on fish, maybe I should give the tank away. Uh, so you really gotta really get mostly pleasure with some work, not mostly work with a little bit of pleasure, okay? And uh, so that's number five, and that's very, very important, I think. And, um, you know, really enjoying these, these amazing, amazing creatures, right? And uh, here's, a, here's a bonus tip uh, for you, and, uh, and, and it's this. Uh, go ahead and seek out knowledge and seek out advice from people, like whether it be in groups or blogs or whatever. But in the end, um, always, always trust your observation, your observations uh, in fish keeping. And uh, a few times I've made mistakes. I've, I've, I've gone against what I thought was working and tried something different and had it not work for me and had you know, created a problem for me. And um, so, and I'm not saying discount because there is a lot of good advice out there, but there's also some uh, nonsense floating around as well. So um, in the end, take everything you hear with a grain of salt and then, uh, you know, use your own observations and reach and reach your own conclusions. That's going to be very important. So, um, so seek advice, but in the end, trust your own, your own judgment, because that's important. And as you develop as a fish keeper, you'll find that your judgment gets, gets better and better over time. You, nobody, nobody knows your fish uh, better really than, than you do. Okay. So those, those are my five tips plus one bonus tip on how to keep uh, these big, 
these big beautiful uh, big beautiful creatures and uh, and uh, have a lot of fun doing it and I hope to see you on Saturday at uh, the cichlids and coffee live stream it uh, like I say it has cichlids in the name but it's all about all kinds of fish keeping tips and come over to the Facebook page Ben O apostrophe cichlid and a good group of people over there willing to help and follow on Instagram if you'd like uh, at ben.o.cichlid. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's always appreciated. I've got the links to more videos and playlists at the end of this video. So ch uh, click on them if you want to watch some more stuff. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.